So it's time to continue with the MBT-70 platoon. The MBT-70 itself was a pretty good, uh, pretty good vehicle. Now it's time for the M60A3 TTS. The text to speech main bell tank. That's going to be its nickname since TTS is text to speech. That's you know you have you have that play when someone sends you a donation while you're live streaming. Anyway. 105mm main gun, this vehicle is a little bit slower, uh, very slow reverse, the top speed is okay, 53, 53 tons for crew member penetration, 400mm, 6.7 second is the reload, and it has some, I guess, protection against heat shells and ATGMs. This is basically a modernized M60A2, I mean this is a M60A3 now, so Yes, slightly modified, upgraded, and it is time to see how this thing will will work. In the game we have received a bunch of M60s, I believe, and this is one of the more common vehicles. And this is, as I mentioned before, a modernization of the of said vehicle. It does feel like the CM11 uh, visually might actually be almost identical to the CM11, but I'm not really entirely sure about that. One very funny thing about this vehicle, it has explosive armor. Well, that explosive armor doesn't do much <laughs> when you get hit by some AT gems. However, the main gun is actually really good. You have a bunch of ammo choices, you have dual AP FSDS shells, heat hash, and all the good stuff like that. I actually do have dual APFSDS. I don't know why I picked dual AP ammo. I, I just love AP, APFSDS, I guess. But it does seem to get the job done. I mean, if I run out of one AP ammo, I have the other AP ammo. So I guess that's one uh, one reason why I have to, why I actually have both. I have both AP, AP ammo on this vehicle. Now this this vehicle is that was a good hit. This vehicle is definitely not the fastest in the tier, and the speed might be something that a lot of a lot of players might dislike about this vehicle. It is understandable, though. It is definitely understandable. I mean, I also like to and drive the fast vehicles, not really, I don't really mind the, the slow speed. It is definitely a sniper vehicle that should be behind a rock. It has fantastic gun depression by the way, so it can do hold down. It is also a little bit taller than the MBT-70, so we can definitely play this uh, vehicle about the same way as you would play the previous. Uh, previous tanks of of this type, which is a nice thing, I guess. But I have to say that that AP ammo does get the job done really well. Definitely a little bit faster reload, 6.7 seconds versus 7.5 seconds on the MB70. Obviously a much smaller gun, but I don't see much of a difference in the damage done by this gun and the damage done by the 152mm on the MBT-70. Both get... Both get the... The job done, I guess, but... Faster reload might be more beneficial. Faster reload might actually be the the thing that a lot of players will probably prefer. However, on the downside it's the speed, downside also the, the hole, uh, while it's not a bad hole, definitely has the same weak spots as the M60A1, M60A2 and the CM11, they all share the same weak spot, you can easily detonate the ammo if you shoot below the, the frontal plate, left and right, on the tracks, and that's where the ammo is stored, you can also shoot it at the turret, sometimes the ammo is stored there as well, so overall, 
while this is a good vehicle, it has the same weak spots as the as the previous generations and uh, so on the other M60 based hull, M60 based M, uh, main belting. Is that necessarily a very bad thing? Well, no. But it means that players will probably know where to shoot at this thing to destroy it. So, again, one thing to keep in mind. Well, that was a surprisingly good revenge bomber bombing run. Three destroyed vehicles. Okay, I'll take it. Always try to destroy as many tanks as you can when you are flying a revenge bomber. Because you never know. Always try to bomb as many tanks as possible. I think I've pretty much said everything regarding this main bell tank. It has a stabilized gun, of course. In top tier, having a stabilized gun is uh, important. The only main battle tank without a stabilized gun in top tier is the MX 30 B2. That vehicle does not have a stabilized gun. Unfortunately, if it had, it would be one of the better tier 8 vehicles. But it's still good. However, I don't really see a lot of a lot, of be uh, a lot of them around anymore. Which is understandable since you have other vehicles that get the, the job done much easier. Let's see if I manage to do anything with the revenge bomber. Only two vehicles left on the enemy team. Okay, that worked. Got the leopard. Well, it wasn't a bad match. That's actually a pretty decent match. Not going to complain about that. So, that was the first battle with the M60 A3. Definitely a playable vehicle, not the fastest, but so far it's also not really the worst. Let's go to the next battle. And we have the good old Normandy spam. When I start to record or play, the only map I get throughout the whole day is Normandy. I rarely see anything else nowadays. Only Normandy, just this map over and over and over again. And over again, and over again. I don't know what's up with the game, I don't know why the game spammed one map 50 days in a row. But it's honestly getting really annoying at least for me, because I want to play other maps. And the game spams one map, always, so yeah, that's uh, a thing. No, uh, that was actually a good hit, I expected to miss. Because usually, over here I miss with this vehicle for whatever reason. Uh, this is where I actually noticed that the accuracy is really not up to up to date on the on this main belt tank. It is still precise, still able to hit, still you know, okay. If it's just that you will have moments where not nothing, well not with this vehicle, my bad, but with the MBT-70, the MBT-70 can actually. Uh, mess up your your day if you're aiming if you're sniping. Uh, the accuracy on this gun feels much better than the accuracy on the MBT-70. That's for sure. I'm almost 100% uh, sure that the accuracy of this gun is much better than the accuracy on the MBT-70. And that's kind of kind of sad. I mean, I really try to enjoy the. On a 52mm on the MBT-70. If it had high explosive, it would be pretty funny, honestly, but unfortunately it doesn't have high explosive. It has only HE, ATFS, AP and ATGM, which honestly is, is enough, it's going to get the job done. 
This vehicle, on the other hand, does not have a GM. Only has classic ammo. Which is to be expected since the weapon caliber, the gun caliber is not really the gym level caliber. That was actually a good hit. The MBT-70 would have missed that by the way. Uh, I know because it happened to me before I was playing this vehicle. And the position is really nice. I mean again, positions where you can snipe, hold down positions. They will work really, really well when you are driving a slower tank. Obviously, other main melee tanks in the category, in the tier, even even below this tier, will be faster. But that's not really a big problem. You can still do really well with this vehicle. I actually, I think I had more fun with this with this vehicle than I had with the MBT-70. The speed on the MBT-70 is definitely much better, the reverse speed is is really good. The, the, the reverse speed can definitely get you out of trouble, with this vehicle you can't really do that because it's slow. But both vehicles have, I guess, their own thing, so directly comparing them is fine, but I'm not going to say one is better than the other, both have their unique traits. Some players might actually enjoy this vehicle more than the MBT-70, some will probably enjoy the MBT-70 more than they will enjoy this vehicle, and, and that's fine, we all have our different preferred playstyles. I love AT gems, for example. AT gem boxes, AT gem carriers, rat vehicles, you know, stuff like that, my favorite. And we do have a very nice rat in this platoon that I'll be playing next, or depending on how I upload, sometimes the <laughs> the later vehicles in the platoon are upload, uploaded first because of of the file size. Depends on the depends on the file size, the size in the end. But yeah, the the Bradley of this platoon is actually really good. I like the Bradley a lot. It's a very fun little vehicle. And I'll be I'll be driving it. Hopefully very soon. But so far, this vehicle actually does seem to work really well. Can't complain about the M60A3. Good gun, good ammo, very good accuracy, decent armor, has some protection against AT gems and heat shells. It's not the fastest, but honestly it doesn't have to be the fastest. A all-around good vehicle, playable, enjoyable. That's basically what I but I feel like after driving this tank and well with that being said hope you guys enjoyed if you would like to support me feel free to like and subscribe and with that being said hope you enjoyed and as always I'll see you next time